This is Haya Shalom, and we have reconnaissance study group. Yeah. And boy, is it hopping right now. I'm telling you, everyone's wanting to get in here. If you want to be in the study group, just contact me, Haya Shalom, on Facebook, and I can put you in the messenger group where we discuss things. And then when there's a, about three of us talking about something, then, then I put a link on there for us to do the Zoom. And that's what we're doing right now. Eric Soul, Esol was here teaching us about the three trifecta EINs from um, Patrick Devine. Now I'm going to let him finish what he was saying um, so that we can actually get somewhere, discharge things. Now he's already done a lot of these processes and that's pretty much what we want to hear from. We really want to hear from people who've actually done these things and successfully um, gotten some results. Uh, we can read all about all the great stuff, but if we haven't even done it, then zip it. We shouldn't even bother. Zip. We can talk about what we've read, but if we haven't done it, then you know we're not gonna. We're not gonna share. We're just gonna try to learn. Okay, that's how we're gonna roll. Anyways, if you want to be in the Telegram group where we have more of those files that you can look and download. You got to get in the Messenger Facebook group first, and then we can, um, you know, put you in that group where there's more files. But anyways, people will be coming in and out, mm. back and forth. I'm going to let you go ahead, uh, Esol, and take it away and tell us um, what do we do to get to the position where we can start discharging debt and such. Okay, so... I, I will say that um, some of these things, you know, that most of the stuff I learned from studying Patrick stuff intensely, but also quite a few others and just trying to align what I was hearing from other, I don't know if we even call them gurus, um, what they were saying. And then all this stuff that like I was constantly trying to digest, right? So now, you know, the first, you know, banker's acceptance and all of that that I did, I didn't really have uh, get too much response, but I learned a lot, right? So, and I've constantly had to adjust and add to these processes. Like you learn that you can file some of these documents, a lot of these documents privately with two witnesses. Mm -hmm. However, only certain agencies, and you have no idea who it's going to be, will accept the stuff. Mm. So then it's like, what would he do that you're this, you're that, I'm an individual banker, I'm this, I'm that, but you can't do anything with it. Mm. Right? So, I've in the last six months of being able to get around and be able to like start doing stuff and not be stuck inside all the time. Um, you know, I'm filing some of these documents, I'm making some phone calls, I'm talking to some of these companies, and I um I think it's kind of amusing because when you actually do know, they they do get a little they they get a little scrambly. You just gotta be able to be like, look, I'll grill you. Like you, you want to go to a maritime lien? We can, we can do a maritime lien. I control this. I'm the fiduciary. I'm the the attorney. In fact, and like, here you go. I'll even I will send you with your notice of default. I'll send you a prelim of my filing of what I'm going to file with Article Three Court. You want this or not? Like, you know, you're going to hear a response in 10 days. They don't. They don't want to deal with that. They don't want to pay a whole lot of money. They don't have to get tagged by their insurance. So with these numbers, uh, the EINs, like there are people that say, oh, you're just, uh, you know, working for the IRS. And, uh, and it's like, listen. It's just somebody who doesn't know, right? So trying to explain to them, it's just better to show them, right? So you have to declare the social security person dead. So 
when I first went to do my SS4 estate, I had to do it like three times. It took me like two days of going back online, having to start over again, because I kept, I kept trying to declare the person dead at 25, which is what mm. you're supposed to do. Mm. That's, that's how the contract was set up, right? But it wouldn't let me do it. So in the end, I think it was like 98 or something like that. So I was 28. I got I, I declared that person dead at 28. But when you correct your fiduciary documents, right, you're going to do three documents aligned with these three EINs. You're going to do a substitute 56. You're going to do a substitute 56F. And you're going to do a private bank substitute W8 Ben affidavit for an affidavit, right? Where you're the owner. You're not the beneficial owner. You're the you're the owner and the fiduciary, any attorney, in fact. You're a foreign financial institution with foreign domicile address. Would you're that non-profit. be a W you're tax exempt? Eight E Ben E B Ben. Uh-huh. But isn't it W8 E Ben? You don't want to use their forms. Um, this is the thing that I will I will actually like I'll debate people over. Like you you can't escape the system and you can't really become private if you use their forms. I, there's no other way I can I can say it. Um, it's like the treasury direct forms. Yeah. You got to use their forms. Right. And it's really, it's not, it's not some crazy thing. It's just a lot of paperwork, right. Of your information, but you're establishing things so that you can take control of those accounts. Right. So what are you talking um, about? But that's like, stop. What are you talking about the Treasury Direct forms? Are you talking about the 5444 form to open up your Treasury Direct account? Oh, there is a whole, there's there's so many Treasury Direct forms. Like if you want to do a packet into the Treasury, right, that you do with a, um, you're going to do like the, the 5444, you're going to do a, 44 something something as 88 something else uh I, there's like I, I, i'll 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 put the list together right it depends on exactly what you're trying to do like there's a form for your securities right so you can like you can start like okay i want to see if they matured i want to da 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 like you can do that form you can wait to do that form um, the TDA, though, is once again, it's all connected to your social security person, right? So, like, like inevitably, all the stuff with the EIN numbers and all the other stuff is tied to the Treasury Direct account. Question. So, if, if, that's another piece. Let me right? get in here. We're not going to go there. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Okay. So if I don't stop you, you'll just keep going and we're all going to be lost. So I need to stop yes. you every once in a while so I can clarify. You said earlier that <laughs> when you, you kill the Social Security person in the aspect of, you know, get an estate, get the foreign grant to trust, get the individual banker. And by doing those EINs, that we'd be killing that social security number. But now you just said that the TDA uh, is all tied to the social security number person. So if we kill that person off, how can we use that person? (laughs) The point is that the social security person (coughs) was dead from the start. Okay? So they, they used your living person as surety 
for a vessel that they didn't have the right to, but they're a custodian because you're a child and because they set up a fraudulent contract with your mom, right? Okay. So, yeah. like, they took, they took it, right? So they're using it, and it's yours. So you don't get it back, and you can't claim ownership until you declare that Social Security person dead. I mean, I did that two years ago. I'm receiving Social Security. So it's not like, you know, it's like, yeah, I declared that Joker dead. Right. But he was already dead. Okay. I'm just like, you know. But my hand yeah. up when I have a question. Did you liquidate yeah. your social security? Did you liquidate it? Or are you collecting social security because you've reached a certain age or disability or something? Okay. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm disabled out the wazoo. Right. So, um, you know, so I have social security disability. Now I was contemplating, you can order them once you take control of things, but you, I mean, you have to, you have to connect the, you have to talk to the port of entry. Then after you execute things with them, you then execute stuff with the inspector general of the social security department. That seems an, and there's other steps, right? So port of entry? it gets real complex. What's the port of entry? Port of entry is the, that is the commissioner for the U.S. Department of the Treasury Bureau of the Fiscal Services. Hmm. So, and, and, and the way it's been set up, so that is, they're the port of entry commissioner. So, when you're looking at shipping, right? And so they treat us as shipping because maritime is mm. vessel persons on the paper commerce, seas of paper commerce. Okay, I right? got that. Whereas Admiralty is is boats on the water, right? So, so in maritime, like you take possession of the things back and by maritime law, the, these they're all held offshore, right? Which is part of the problem of why so many people can't access the stuff, right? Or to utilize it, oh, right? Yeah. So they, uh, but I mean, you can get away with it. Like I first started doing stuff using, you know, my social security with no dashes as the exemption for stuff. Right. Um, you know, I can still do that. Um, but I just, so I just redid th four of my documents because the foreign affidavits were not done right. The top part, instead of having, Pennsylvania state, I had state of Pennsylvania, so I had to redo them. Mm -hmm. So I have to have her back, right? So mm -hmm. um got to make sure the stuff is right, man. Explain um, that to people about, explain that to people about everything that says of, explain that, because I don't think a lot of people understand. Okay, so, so state of, city of is of. a sub charterer to the United States, the corporation, right? So you could say bankrupt, but it's like, yeah, you know, that's almost like just not even worth like just mentioning in the equation, right? Because it's like, you know, it's with insurance and just the way stuff is, you got two different money systems happening at the same time. You got central bank, fraudulent federal reserve bank, and then you got the treasury, which is the people's money. It's like the United States of America money, right? It's private, right? And then the state of the department of the treasury is the go between. They can deal with the foreign bankers, the Federal Reserve Bank and all their bull, right? So, um, 
what I just did is I, you know, it's, it's a habeas corpus is 23 pages. It's all the fiduciary documents. Everything is a foreign affidavit, right? Um, it's power of attorney, four pages, like all broken down. Um, you know, it is a uh, notice of uh, copyright, copy claim, trademark, bunch of other things, all of it's, and then I'm sending that in to liquidate my social security and Medicare into the estate. So, okay. uh, you Just know, hang on a second. with orders and all. Let me know. see if I can break this down in more bite-sized pieces. So what I was saying was okay. when it says state of California, city of Los Angeles, county of Los right. Angeles, those are sub charters it is. of the United States, which is the District of Columbia. But if you live, let's say, in the uh, the state, let's call it California, it's not state of California, it's California state, right? The land. It's California state, but actually, actually, really, it's California Republic. Okay. That sounds good. right. To make them happy, it's California State. But as soon as you put of before an article, a a, a the, the proper noun, you change it. It's not that anymore. It becomes a pronoun. It it, it changes what it is, right? So it no longer is the thing that it was originally. Right, creepy. Is that okay, so? That Russell Gould so, was talking about, and that other judge. Well, he passed away. Is that what they were talking about? That syntax grammar. Yeah. Well, that David, is, David that, Wayne. Like yeah, in a sense, track. he yeah. talks about that in syntax. He talks about that in syntax grammar, but he talks about how. They're, they were learning stuff by going into the law. They were looking at it from a totally different way. But then David Wynn Miller, you know, was the mathematical genius, like, with language. So he started properly putting together these things and realizing that half the legal documents that were out there aren't actually, they're just not lawful. They say nothing. Right. It's, it's, it's just to, for fraudulent banking. Um, so but then, you know, it's like I, I, I feel like I don't want to get into like, listen, I, I, I like Russell J. Gould, but frankly, I'm sorry, but all the syntax language, it's all capital. Right. So I'm sorry, but that's for the birds and it can kiss off. And this whole thing of putting my thumbprint with blue ink, that's some silly stuff. Yeah, if I'm a corporate dead person, yeah, I'm going to use the blue ink. That's smart. I'm using all legal language, I'm going to use the blue ink, right? Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, no, because the living man, sui juris, mm -hmm. just soleil, which means by right of soil, J-U-S, S O L I, right? Like, mm -hmm. so that's you and you and you and you and you, right? So you're the living woman, right? So red blood, it's been that way for thousands of years, right? Like, like before it, it just cut your finger and, you know, and stick your thumb down to like seal something, right? But the fact is, it's just not blue ink, right? Just like I get that to make a, you know, an indentured trustee. And I understand that in a commercial way that that can work in a lot of cases, but there's a lot of people doing it and getting no response. They might so, be switching it up. Like as far as me studying Patrick Devine, it's always the CFO. It has it really doesn't have to do with the indentured trustee. The indentured trustee is just the head trustee banker, right? But it's always about 
the head banker for said corporation, right? So that's who you go to, right? They have the contract with the treasury, with your credit. Who? Who does? That's why I... Who does? Uh, who whatever has company contract? it is. Oh, the, you're uh, like, the CFO, uh, not the electric company? Uh, the cell phone company? Whoever. You know, whatever corporation it is. They have a contract. They borrowed mm -hmm. from the treasury. And then they make the stuff and then they sell it. Right? They owe the treasury. Right? Like, they're also supposed to pay the taxes. It's a statutory obligation. It's called liability. Right? So, they I got a the really charters. nice bill here. They're the sub $7,000 uh, for that. Um, yeah squatter guy who's using my electricity seven thousand two hundred and sixty two dollars right here i mean look at look at how much little right so battery in here and then there's just this computer and that light that's it that's all i use really i mean get so i'm thinking i'm thinking you would like write out the amount um on the front and then do that do do they have do they have your commercial they have a commercial name on the bill did it let yeah, me see the bill. all caps it's all caps yeah do they have your commercial name yeah it's all, all caps. caps right so it's not you right so so and, and and so so you Fiona, flip you that bill over especially if you get the estate number you you on the front write out the amount and then you write your name like print that that i already did your that. principal your I principal did all that. name i right? did all these then different flip things. it over pay to the bearer pay to the united states uh pay to the place did you send a letter of instruction with it i did and i sent it registered mail what did it say my letter Okay, what what did it say on the uh, letter of instruction? If you don't mind me asking, I don't remember at this moment. I have it on my computer, but I, I can't be sharing that. I mean, maybe I could share it to you personally, but I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I mean, these things aren't working. I've already tried all these five different ways now. Did not make it. To like, you know, when, when she's saying. When she's saying a letter of instruction, it's yeah. it's in a sense like I just started doing instead of a letter of instruction, I am doing an endorsement and an affidavit back at them. Right. So it's a, it's a letter of instruction. It's like this is this. This is connected with this. This is this account. You're going to do this and you're going to take this from here. Right. And then like. Here you go. You know, and then. You know, they can do a whole bunch of things. They can decide to not respond. And then I have to, like, let them know, hey, you know, like, okay, opportunity to cure. Right? Ten days later. That and then, oh, no response. Okay. Notice the default. Here's a, here's a pre-filing of what I'm filing as far as an Article 3 uh, uh, claim. If you don't respond in ten days. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Right. And then, you know, like they're going to respond. Right. So. Or you just or I've you just send it, it off. I've registered mail. PPUC. The uh, California Utility Commission. They said, well, if you here is a form that you can sue them and you can take them to court <laughs> if you disagree with the billing thing and and then i right. was talking See, but, uh, okay to so another guy that was talking to us about going the equity route and then poof he was gone so i'm just saying i mean you know trust and equity. did you cure and did you be part of yet though huh what you can't be part in and part out i'm telling you yeah I did you cure 
opportunity. Did you did you default them? And that's the third one. Yeah, I, I gave them all three, and I even had them all done with the aff with the um a notary a jurat too. Just saying, so I, the next thing is going to be federal. Then you have to enforce it. Yeah, it's time to go to court. <laughs> My problem. I right. Have... So you 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 draw up your own claim. And send it on in to the federal district court and you send them a copy, right? It's in, right? So then it's uh, now it becomes a, a, a piece hey, of wait. record. And Stop. you best believe that. Hang on a second. Um, yeah. I saw the federal rules of civil procedure. Now, my cousin is one of those um, lawyer type of people. She was saying that's for federal yeah. officers. That's for criminals. That's criminal stuff. I mean, I know this is criminal, but um, then there is oh, um, regular. She, she doesn't know what she's talking about. I know. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Lawyer people. <laughs> like I lawyer, know. lawyer, right? Okay. So like attorney, an actor to a turn. So turn I'd rather over. be an actor to a turn in fact than an actor to a turn at law. Right. That means you're there, but you're not in it. Right. You just kind of like observing. Right. So like the whole point is lawyers lie. Yeah. They're, they're, they have a superior oath to the bar. OK, so it doesn't matter whatever they say about the Constitution. I could care less. They can kiss my skinny white butt. OK. <laughs> So, and I, I've been telling lawyers this. So my friends that were lawyers, I don't have them anymore, right? Um, I, I, but I don't care, right? So, because I, I am attorney in fact, and I will happily show up okay. in court and be like, yeah, I'm the owner of fiduciary attorney in fact for the vessel person in question. Um, yep. I'm here to settle this matter here and now. Give me the charges. I'm not even right. showing up. Thank you. Endorse, right? Counterclaim, thumbprint. <laughs> Here you go. Right. Don't you think that if they were to what get a complaint, do? it would automatically uh, stop, or they would go to arbitration? Or no, 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 no. It would, it would behoove them to do something right quick because they're going to be in a worse position if you do take them to article three court because your constitutional rights apply there and they're a person there an entity that got the beneficial rights and usage of you 10 minutes and didn't pay for it Right. So, but that's a like, okay, it's like court stuff. That's a whole nother thing. Right. But the point is yeah. that, like, okay, we got to, we got to, with everything we do should be foreign affidavits. Right. Why? Because we're foreign and they're foreign. They're foreign, state of, city of, that. The United States Corporation is foreign. It says it in the law to right. the United States of America, right. right? So they're foreign, but they put this this mask, this 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 layer over everything, right? And by you interacting with it, you jump into their jurisdiction. So, oh, no, did you say you're letting something? them know, like me, I'm like, listen, this is a foreign affidavit presentation into your foreign state jurisdiction, all capital letters, right? And then I have the notary sign under that, right? So, like, like, sorry, you know, you just, you got to call it for what it is, right? You got to let them know, like, listen, I'm. This is what I'm doing. I'm I'm doing this for your benefit because you're foreign and I'm foreign. So here you go. Right. So and it's like and and it doesn't mean that I've ever left the United States of America. I'm foreign to a foreign corporation. 
you know, and, and, and pretty much all of us are, but not if we don't say anything, right? So. Um, okay, Fiona, did you like, want to So the EINs. What's that? With your bills, um, if you sent all three of the notices, yeah, your only job is to know if they have not responded, that's on them. It's time to take them to court. And if you look up the federal, um, what is it, on the, the so, banking? Oh. Title 12? The policies. What is it called? Okay, I'm sorry. It's on the tip of my is it Sorry, I can't think of it. Um, oh, yeah. Shock. Like there are, there's, it's time for them to go to court, period. <laughs> it's time for you to take them to court and everything can be done. Everything is paper. You don't even have to show yep. up. Like regard, yep. I mean, you look at the 12 laws of presumption. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 12 the um the the 12 presumptions of the court yeah and you have to you have to revoke and rebut them you have to challenge them and that, otherwise and would, they stand as law i will study those um i got yeah. a video on they, that they everything, everything in the 12 presumptions of law everything you don't even have to show up to court you do not have to show up to court. Everything is paperwork. Everything is commerce. Everything is contracts. So the same well, thing that they do, reverse it and do it back. And I am walking this walk now. I just sent out letters. Yep. I just sent out my first notices to all of my, you know, for all of my coupons. So I'm just now walking the walk, but I've been studying my ass off. And I'm telling you, everything is about contracts. Everything is about, it's paper, it's commerce. Yes, six yes. Minutes left. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. It is, it is commerce and your court is your paperwork, right? And, 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 and it's also a vessel. It's a vessel of yours and it's your private property, right? And it, it stands as law. So like... I started keeping all my documents. They get a copy. I keep the original. You can come to my house if you want the original. You know, like you don't you don't deserve the original. Um, and you know, like she's saying, it it's all paper. It, like you can handle. Like I'm 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 checking out people that handle things without ever 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 setting foot in court even though they do things that you basically would take like she's saying it, it's it's like it's court but you're doing it all through your paperwork right so as well as creating money you do the same thing with instruments so I'm starting to experiment with that and I will be happy to you know, work with people and talk with people about that as I do stuff. But I've been doing drafts and I'm getting kind of good at them. And um, uh, we'll see because I'm about to do a, a doozy. So we'll see how this works. Right. But okay, um, so let me just interrupt for a quick like, second because we got four minutes yes. left. And my channel has kind of been a little bit of documenting, um, document, documenting uh the different things that i've been studying and then when we got in a group um bringing up new people who can show us different ways so there's some people that go the route of uh commercial law some people go the route of private and trust law now that was a new one for me uh but then they disappear those trusty people <laughs> they disappear on me and I don't know what to do after that, but you know, I've already tried to do those security calls and boy, those people get scared on the other end and they sure, they go, I, I hear what you're saying. And then they never call you back. And then I'm like, okay, now what do we do? Right. Cause, um, cause now they know. So do you have, go ahead. um, could you get the monthly subscription for zoom? I could pay for it. I could send it to you right now. 
because I really think like if everybody's on the same type of time, I am, I've been learning backwards. I've been learning the, I started okay. learning first, like how to take people to court, how to, you know, I have some documents that may help everybody as well, but um, the correct terms, the correct verbiage to use. And I've been learning about David Wynn Miller's uh, syntax grammar, yeah. which is really important. That is the top, that's the end all be all. Like if you know that, but just jumping a few steps behind, um, we could, I could show you what I'm doing. I could look and see where you guys are at. I think I would love to see your drafts. That's um, the benefit is it Eric? of the yes. files and the media that's in the group. So what we like, like to do, I'll, I'll just, I mean, what we're doing right now is public and we only have two minutes left. I like to keep it short because people have, you know, there's so much information and so much time in the day. But just keep in mind that this is public. So sharing you stuff. You're not yeah, I, I'm not I, like the we point have one is that, left, um, unfortunately, but I hear what you're saying, we, Tiana. Uh, we do have another like. We can use like uh, yeah, like well. David Winmiller. I I did a live life claim. I I you know I I can do uh quantum banking, but I haven't really done much with it. Um, I, again, it's it's about there's another guy that initially worked with them at the beginning and went off on his own, and he does the syntax grammar, but he keeps everything lowercase, and I like that a whole lot better. Um, I use syntax in just about every document that I do. Um, I don't go crazy. I don't completely restructure it, but um, uh, because a lot of it, it won't get recognized. Okay, um, I want to interrupt you for just a second. We uh, only have one minute, so we can't keep branching out into new subject matters when we only have one minute left. <laughs> we have to end those. But we have the study group. People can contact people privately, share things privately. Or this is public. Or you guys could. could yeah, we can contact. You guys could public. contact me as well on, on like Facebook Messenger. We could do this like I could talk to you. We're like all this in the group and we to, can to, all. To, oh. Yeah, but we can't introduce new subject matter when we're going to get cut off any second. So I'm going to end the meeting because it's going to okay. cut us off. And I just want to invite people to come to the group. The files are there and the media is there and people can network privately with one another. But this is kind of just a little, you know, open forum and it's for the public. So I just want to keep everybody safe and have a good